Hi folks, we're out today again. Very windy day in United Kingdom, Northern Ireland. Bit choppy on the sea. Oh, thinks he's found something. And this is our homemade sand scooper. We got the wee tin from Ikea. There it is, there. Oh, and it's a bit of aluminum. We're only out two minutes. <laughs> so Tommy, I'll show you. We've got a brush shaft. And we've got a wee connector that he put on the top of this. So we're just trying it out. Because the big sand scoops for doing metal detecting cost an absolute fortune, so... Want me to hold the, the wee spade thing in the wee thing? Yeah. So this beach, as you can see, is covered in seaweed. It's not one of the best places to do this, but we are having a go. More aluminum. Yeah, it's more aluminum, so it is. Yuck. And fill your holes in. Just be my old bag for a or something. We forgot to bring a bag with us in case we, we can pick up small things. We've got a small, Tommy's got a small bag on his waist there. So we can pick up any metal and bottle caps and stuff. But we forgot to bring a bag, you know, for any bigger waste that we can pick up off the beach. Because it's good to pick anything up, especially anything. Oh, there's a... Crab leg. <laughs> well, it's good for tidying the beach up this hobby as well. And I think it's hidden under the sand. It can be. This isn't one of the cleanest beaches, honestly. The best beaches down here. We've been down once before, but we actually found a weird coin. But unfortunately, there's a lot of dog walkers in this area that don't lift their dog dirt up after them, they just leave it. Which is why, even during the summer, I don't come to this beach. There's a lot cleaner beaches and responsible dog owners that clean up after their pets. But unfortunately, this is one of the worst beaches for them not doing that. And I wish they would, because it just, it's, people stop coming to the area. 
you know, to spend money during the summer in the wee town because the beach is so dirty with dog fouling and litter. Nobody wants to sit in that. The best beaches in the UK, Northern Ireland are up at the north coast. The north of Northern Ireland is Port Rush area. Port Stewart and those beaches are beautiful, no rubbish and oh they're beautiful colour of sand. Really nice. Right. And here he comes. The detectorist himself. <laughs> sure not getting, uh... Uh, the stones in this place, I like it. Yeah, but you have to watch for your walk. That's the only thing. There. I prefer the other wee beach we were on the last time, you know. This beach used to be fantastic when I was a kid. My family used to come down here. This was a place to be and they had amusements. So they had the waltzers and everything. And it was really good fun, but... It's just... Very unkept, very dirty. People letting their dogs file everywhere. And I don't understand why they're allowed to do that down here, you know, and the other beaches are spotless. So it's not a place to come to. I think the wet sand's very hard to dig. Oh. So there you go, we got this. This is a wee cutlery holder out of Ikea. It's only for about four pounds. And Tommy got this wee attachment and screwed it on and a brush shaft to try it. So, so far it's not too bad now. <laughs> so cute, I'm going to be run away. So when that rain stays off. Very choppy today. Oh, we're in trouble. We are in trouble. <laughs> the landman has arrived. <laughs> Here he comes. <laughs> this is a very good buddy of mine. And I think he's still wearing his pajamas. <laughs> is he in his pajamas, Tommy? I think he's in his pajamas. He is mad as a hatter. <laughs> He's got his pyjamas on and wearing his big stay dry coat. Who do you see he is? Oh, he's a scream. This is the phantom snorer of my uh, camping videos. You never heard snoring like it lit in your life. Give us a wave. Are you wearing your pajamas? <laughs> I'm doing a wee video for my channel. <laughs> yeah, and all we'll find so far is dog start. 
Doctor. We won't be retiring anytime soon. They're too stitchy down here, so they are to lo lose anything. <laughs> This? Uh-huh. I got, it's a wee holder you put round your neck when you're walking and stuff so it's hands free and I got it for about five pounds in the pound shop. So I thought it was good, you know that. are seriously expensive so this is a cutlery holder out of IKEA for about four pound and a wee brush staff and Tommy put that on it. Very good. So this is her first time trying it out and it works without Sturdy even like. yeah without even a lip on it you know it still goes into the sun I thought that. Gorgeous big dog. <laughs> And we love it, yeah, but no. if we're only going away for it, when you're getting the near 70s, it's getting too bad. For you're us. definitely going to get a slap. Well, <laughs> for a week, that big on it it weekend. Yeah. Too much work. So I work during the summer, so it's very rarely I get time one. off, you know, to. Did a good chair. Our one, Lanny, for £384. Blow up one. or not because I've seen them you know flattened and going down in the wind where the poles still stand up. We've never had any trouble with poles. Oh look. Another month and that I think they're going up Easter up the Glenmore. Oh oh is that no you get me. So what do you do then? Just right just you go back and forward. Keep her no more low and slow right back and forward. If you come across 